Hello, and thank you for seeking out information about the San Angelo District's Transportation Improvement Program for fiscal years 2023 through 2026. I'm John DeWitt, Director of Transportation Planning and Development for the San Angelo District, and I'll be walking you through this presentation. First of all, though, we know everybody took time from their day to be here today, and we really appreciate it. As such, we want you to make it back to your family safely. Distracted driving continues to be a problem in Texas, and data indicates that drivers are not changing their behaviors. So TxDOT wants to raise awareness on the dangers of distracted driving by encouraging Texans to put away their cell phones while driving. And please help us in the street, Texas. Let's start with the basics. First, the Transportation Improvement Program, or the TIP, is a list of funded projects in the TxDOT district over the next four years. The TIP is fiscally constrained and includes highway construction projects as well as other multimodal elements, such as public transportation and bike ped programs and projects. In some cases, it also conveys information about preliminary planning efforts in advance of some projects. The 25 TxDOT districts coordinate, develop, and submit the TIPs for their respective areas of the state. More on that in a minute, as do the 23 metropolitan planning organizations around the state. Once approved at the regional level, these 48 documents are combined to create the Statewide Transportation Improvement Program, or STIP, required of TxDOT by FHWA to demonstrate fiscal constraint of their program over a four-year period. The TIP is meant to show regional agreement on the need and priority of a transportation project, so all parties can be sure that they're making the best investment for their community. It's also expected to be consistent with the projects and objectives included in the regional long-range transportation plans to ensure that all parties are working toward the same goal. The key to a relevant TIP is public engagement, which is why you're here today. Your participation counts and we appreciate it immensely. The TIP functions as a budget list for the district. As such, it is fiscally constrained. But typically, the demand for transportation improvements exceed the available funding, leading TxDOT, MPOs, and their partners to prioritize needs. The result is what you'll see in the TIP, with projects supported by different combinations of federal, state, and local funds. With that introduction, let's move on to discuss the project lists themselves. Texas San Angelo District is one of 25 statewide, shown in green on this slide. We're the second largest district covering over 19,000 square miles in our 15 counties. Zooming in for a closer look, you can see our area in more detail. We maintain and operate 3,249 centerline miles of highway in our 15 counties, which represents roughly 4% of the highway network in Texas. That speaks to the rural nature of this district, but what becomes evident as you look at our TIP listings is that we have a wide variety of challenges in providing the safe and efficient system you expect of us. You'll see major rehab projects in our western counties most affected by energy sector activity, projects that add super tube passing lanes throughout our district, and major projects that will add needed capacity within the San Angelo MPO, to name a few. You'll also notice a major preventive maintenance component of our program each year as well as a number of off-system bridge replacements. For convenience and clarity, I'll provide information about both the rural TIP compiled by us at the San Angelo District, as well as projects that are listed in the San Angelo MPO's TIP. So with that preface, let's get to the TIP itself. 
The San Angelo District has 14 projects scheduled to go to contract in fiscal 23, and an estimated value of right at $156 million is shown on this tabulation. Three of those projects, index number one, index number three, and index number six are in the urban area. I'll speak to those more specifically on the second slide, but I'm showing them in our tabulation here so you can get a complete picture of our program. Our, our rural program kicks off with index number two, which is the replacement of a bridge in Coke County on Sanko Road at Miss Box Creek. Currently scheduled to go to contract in October of 2022, an estimated value of 523,900 is shown here out of our bridge replacement program, category six. Next up in our rural program is our annual Silcoat project. You'll see Silco projects of similar magnitude in each of the four years of the TIP. The Silco process is essential to the maintenance of our system and it is the key component of our preventive maintenance program on an annual basis. This year we're dedicating and investing almost $20.5 million as shown here out of our Category 1 PM and Rehab program to our Silco effort. A companion project to the seal coat program is our pavement marking project shown two lines down, scheduled to go to contract in January of 23, which provides retracing of the pavement markings on our seal coat projects. Sandwiched in between on our letting schedule is index number four, which the, is the replacement of a bridge on State Highway 163 in Sterling County at Willow Creek, scheduled to go to contract in December an estimated value of three, quarter, three quarters of a million dollars, and it's out of category six, the structural replacement rehab program. Next up is a rehab and overlay project on Interstate 10 in Sutton County, from the Crockett County line to 10 miles east into Sutton County, scheduled to go to contract in January of 23, an estimated value of $15,420,000 also programmed out of our Category 1 PM and Rehab program. Next in our rural program is index number seven, which is construction and establishment of a truck parking facility on both sides of I-10 in Crockett County at the base of Lancaster Hill, for those that are familiar with the territory there. It's scheduled to go to contract in April of 23, an estimated value of $20 million out of Category 9. The next three projects, numbers 8, 9, and 10, are all Super 2 projects, seeking to add passing lanes to the roadway shown here. US 277 in Coke County, State Highway 70 at the Y, north of the Y in Coke County, and then also on State Highway 137 in Glasscock and Reagan counties. The Super 2 design has proven extremely effective in our district and statewide in reducing head-on crashes on rural two-lane roadways. We brought a Super 2 project to contract in fiscal 22 in Tom Green County from San Angelo North to the Coke County line. So by the time we let and complete the two projects shown here, eight and nine, we'll have a complete Super 2 facility all the way through our district on 277. Projects eight and nine are both scheduled to go to contract in April of next year, an estimated value of $27 million cumulatively. And they're supported primarily through Category 4 rural connectivity, uh, with the exception and notable exception of $4.8 million from our bridge program dedicated to the widening of the Colorado River Bridge as part of this project just south of Bronx. Next up in the rural area is project number 10, the addition of passing lanes on State Highway 137 Glasscock and Reagan County. You may know that we just recently completed a major rehabilitation project along these same limits. So the project listed here, number 10, comes back within those same limits and adds passing lanes uh, in the same vicinity. Project is scheduled to go to contract in June of 23 and an estimated value of 32,273,000 change is shown here. And this project is supported 
out of Category 12 strategic priority, and specifically a subset of Category 12, which is the Permian Promise Program. Next up, project number 11 in Runnels County, the rehabilitation of State Highway 153 from Winters all the way to the Nolan County line. Scheduled for contracting in uh, July of 23 and valued at $12.5 million. Supported primarily through our PM and rehab program, as well as district discretionary, and then the replacement of the Bridge of Valley Creek, which is also part of this project, uh, is supported by $2 million out of our bridge program. Finally, in fiscal 23, project number 12 is another road to zero safety project. This time on Interstate 10, continuing our effort to install median barrier to prevent crossover crashes on Interstate 10. Scheduled for an August 23 letting, valued at 2455000 is shown here. Next, we'll look at the projects in the MPO area in fiscal 23. We spoke about them earlier. I'm showing you the same listing here for the entire fiscal year, but the projects in the MPO area, again, as shown, are index number one, index number three, and index number six. First, project number one is a major reconstruction and widening of Old Cristobal Road, State Loop 378, here in San Angelo. The project will add a through lane in each direction, as well as a center left turn lane, and will reconfigure the intersection of Fairview School Road with Old Cristobal Road. In response to the added truck traffic on that corridor, we'll, build, we'll rebuild Cristobal Road and widen it with concrete pavement. This project is currently scheduled for a September 22 letting and valued as shown here at $19,628,000. The September 22 date is likely to slip deeper into the fiscal year as we work with the City of San Angelo to accomplish necessary utility relocations in advance of the project. This project is supported by $16 million out of Category 2, the Urban Area Corridor Program, which is under the direction of the MPO, as well as $658,000 in the urban portion of Category 4 connectivity corridors, also under the direction of the MPO. We at the district level are adding $410,000 uh, to it under our district discretionary program and another two and a half million out of our PM and rehab program category one to make it whole. Next project number three, the rehabilitation of the Oak Street Bridge um, in downtown San Angelo. Currently scheduled for a November 2022 letting, valued at $950,000 and supported by out of category six bridge rehab and replacement program. Finally, in fiscal 23 in the urban area, uh, project number six is shown here, which is a continuation of our sidewalk construction program here in San Angelo. And this one is along Knickerbocker Road, and it's the comp complementary project to the one that we recently just completed on Knickerbocker Road. They built sidewalks along Knickerbocker. However, there are gaps in that system by design. And this closes those gaps, and those gaps exist currently where it was necessary to widen culverts and other structures uh, to accommodate the extra width necessary to convey the sidewalk across that feature. The first project did not accommodate that work. This comes back and completes it. That is scheduled for letting in March of 23 and valued at $1.5 million supported out of Category 1 RPM and Rehab Program.
Moving ahead now to our fiscal year 2024. We currently have seven projects scheduled for fiscal 24. Uh, cumulative value of $37,482,000 is tabulated here. First up in fiscal 24 is a project to upgrade a number of traffic signal locations and lighting assemblies across the district. Scheduled for an October 23 letting and valued at $1.5 million supported out of our district discretionary program, category 11. That's followed by our seal coat program for fiscal 24. Uh, scheduled for a December 23 letting, uh, currently valued at $16 million, supported again out of our Category 1 PM and Rehab program. And then its companion project, which is the third one in the list, which is the pavement marking project that comes behind the Silco program, uh, scheduled for a January 24 letting at $2.5 million, again uh, supported out of Category 1 PM and Rehab. Also in January, of 2024, we plan to let a project one of uh, the first of two projects and five locations in Runnels County uh, that will be replacing all system bridges. This one's a standalone project on County Road 371. Again, scheduled for a Jan January 24 letting and valued at $225,000, supported down of our bridge rehab and replacement program. Next in February is an ACP overlay and armoring project on US 87 in Sterling and Coke counties from the Tom Green County line north to State Highway 163 in Sterling City. Valued at $9.9 .9 million, supported out of Category 11 and the subset of Category 11, the energy sector program. Again, it's scheduled to go to contract in February of 24. Next, index number three is the rehabilitation of USA 3 uh, coming south from US 87 in Eden, as well as the intersection at US 87. This is one we've been trying to implement for quite a while and have been working with the city of Eden um, to mitigate the cost of utility relocations, waterline relocations made necessary by this project. Right now, we're uh, targeting a fiscal 24 letting for it in April of 24 specifically at this point. The value of that project is estimated to be $5.8 million. It's supported primarily out of our TAP1 uh, program as well as uh, $3.8 million out of Category 4 uh, of the uh, Rural Connectivity Corridor Program. Finally, bundled up in one project are four more off-system bridges in Runnels County uh, scheduled for a replacement. Uh, valued at one, one and a half million dollars, all supported through our bridge rehab and replacement program, scheduled for a June 24 letting.
Moving on now to our fiscal year 2025. At this point, we only have five projects scheduled in fiscal 25. It should and will look healthier by the time we get there, but combination of fiscal controls limit us to what we're showing you today for fiscal 25. The first project listed is our annual seal coat program. Currently, we have $16 million obligated to it in fiscal 25 and scheduled for December 24 lending. Supported as usual by Category 1, our PM and rehab program. The following month in January, we let the companion pavement marking program, which adds another $2.5 million to the entire effort. Again, supported out Category 1. Then in January as well, we uh, are scheduled to uh, bring a project contract on FM 72 Sherwood Lane in Erion County to replace the bridge at Spring Creek. It's valued at $2.3 million and supported out of Category 6, our Structure Replacement and Rehab Program. Next, index number two, the replacement of a off-system bridge in Slacker County. This one on County Road 302 at the South Contra River. Scheduled for July 25 letting, valued at $865,800 as shown here. Again, funded down to Category 6, Structures Rehab and Re Rehabilitation. Um, finally, in Fiscal 25, index number three, another bridge project. This one, a significant one, on an old pan girder structure on US 190 in Crockett County. Uh, we plan to replace that structure. Uh, we just recently uh, negotiated a way forward with our bridge division to fund this project. It's currently scheduled for an August 25 letting and valued at $4 million. Again, Category 6. Finally, we'll look at the fourth year of the TIP, the final year of this TIP cycle, fiscal 26. First is a PM program on the roads in the San Angelo State Park here in Tom Green County, and it's directed to us and we partner with Texas Parks and Wildlife on these projects. We're scheduled for a September 25 letting and Parks and Wildlife has dedicated $706,000 
to this project and it's captured in our UTP category 10. Next is another district-wide project to uh, upgrade and possibly install new traffic signals and lighting assemblies across the district. Currently scheduled for an October 25 letting. At this point, we have one and a half million dollars set aside for that effort out of our district discretionary program. Next is our district-wide seal cut program. Again, scheduled for December of this fiscal year, this time December 25. Currently, we have set aside $16 million for this, uh, for this year's seal cut program. And it's funded again out of category one, the PM and rehab uh, category. Like always, you'll see the companion pavement marking project there again uh, on this listing uh, two rows down. Funded out of our uh, Cat 1 program as well, $2.5 million scheduled for January letting. Sandwiched in between those two is index number one, as shown on the map, which is a, a continuation of our PM effort on Interstate 10, this time in Sutton County coming out of Sonora and going to the west. It is currently scheduled for January 26th letting. Right now we have uh, a little over $4 million obligated to that. Next up, index number two is another uh, overlay project on your state 10. This one in the western portion of Crockett County. Also scheduled at this point for January 26 letting, valued at $16 million, supported out of category one. Index number three is in Tom, Tom Green County. It's Arden Road, RM853 from 2288 heading west out to the Erion County line. And it's uh, intended to rehabilitate and widen Arden Road for that stretch. Currently scheduled for an April 26 letting and funded at $10.6 million, again, out of our category one. Finally, in fiscal 26, we currently have a project scheduled uh, to continue our program of uh, the replacement of guard fence, bridge rail, safety end treatments across uh, various roadways in our district, scheduled for a May 26 letting, valued at $700,000, funded out of category 11 district discretionary. So to summarize the tip, we'll give you this financial summary and this view of it. You can see the distribution of obligated funds per fiscal year and how it's broken out by category. In total, uh, in the years 23 through 26, we currently have $265,187,378 obligated to projects in the rural areas and $19,578,800 obligated to projects in the San Angelo urban area. That adds up to a total program for the San Angelo district for fiscal years 23 through 26 in the amount of $284,766,178. So that completes a rundown of the four years of the tip uh, fiscal years 2021 through 2024. This slide shows a summary of that in a number of different ways. First, the table shows a breakdown by funding category in, in the UTP across the four years of the tip. You can also see, looking a little further down the slide, that 
the tip for 2021 20, through 2024 at this point shows $322 million plus of work in the rural areas and $66 million, almost $67 million in the urban area in San Angelo. Totaling to a total program for 2021-2024 for the San Angelo District of $389,333,455. Now that we've introduced our tip to you for the fiscal years 23 through 26, we really need your help to make sure we've got it right. There's a couple of ways you can submit comments to us. First, the old-fashioned way, lick a stamp and put it in the mail. If you choose to do that, as with all of these options, please make sure that you put the letter in the mail to us um, in time to get it to us by June 1st, Wednesday, June 1st, 2022. The address you'd use is shown on this slide, Texas Department of Transportation, San Angelo District Attention Rule Tip. 4502 Knickerbocker Road, San Angelo, Texas, 76904. Alternately, if you'd like, you can email me directly with comments. My email is shown here, john.dewitt at text.gov, attention rule tip in the subject line. You'll also be able to find this presentation and a PDF of the information in this presentation at this link. Again, search for San Angelo Rural Tip on our website. Please don't hesitate to call us at the San Angelo District Office with any questions you may have about the tip or any of our projects or programs. You can call anytime at 325-944-1501, Monday through Friday between the hours of 8 to 5. Uh, again, you've got my email address to communicate with us about the TIP or any other interest you might have in our projects and programs. And we also encourage you to take a look at our uh, social media platforms shown here. This concludes the video presentation for the San Angelo District's fiscal years 2023 through 2026 Rural Transportation Improvement Program. We truly appreciate the time you've taken out of your day uh, to view this. We welcome your comments and look forward to them. And thank you again one more time for your interest in our programs.